Hey, you guys. So, I got my dinner. I'm going to try not to be smacking and eating. But I am hungry. So, I'm going to be eating. But I am going to talk as well. This is not a mukbang. So, I'm going to try not to smack. But I am going to eat. And it got late. Um, so, I wanted to hop in because we doing a video every day for the month of December. And today, I was going to talk about making more money as a surgical tech without going back to school. And this is really anybody. Mm. And just if you want to know what I'm eating. It's chili. <clears throat> That's a chili Southwest egg roll that I'm eating right now. I normally get their um, triple platter or the triple appetizer. And then I get two servings of the Southwest egg rolls. And then I got a slide the bites, the slider bites or whatever. But these are really good. So, to talk about how to make more money as a surgical jab without going back to school. The easiest thing that I would start doing is turning my, my hobby, a hobby that I um, enjoy, I would turn that into a hustle. And so what that means is that maybe you enjoy, hold on. Let me not be smacking it here, right? But maybe you enjoy um, gardening. Maybe you enjoy cleaning your house. Whatever you enjoy doing, share with us how you do it your way. And you can either do it on YouTube or you can do it on your own website or your own podcast. And you can start charging people for your, um, your knowledge if you want to charge them. Or you can sell a book where you just share your information through a book. These are definitely one of my favorites. So yeah, that would what I would just turn my hobby into a hustle. And I would have it, I would have it through YouTube or through my own website or a podcast. And then it would just be me talking about whatever that topic is. So for surgical techs, you could talk about, you know, how to be a surgical tech and your specialty. And you can maybe sell your um whatever information you have on being a surgical tech and that specific specialty, you can sell that information. You can sell, like if you sew, you can sell like patterns or you can sell the tools that you use to sew with. Like you can refer them. Whatever hobby you have, I would turn that into my own hustle. And if you don't like me too and eating, I'm sorry, but I'm hungry. And so if you want, if you want to get more out of your education that you already have, if you want to get the most out of it, instead of going back to school for something else, that's probably going to require you to pay some student loans or you have to pay for it yourself. Instead of doing that, I would start hustling. And one of the easiest things, too, that you can do is start selling clothes. Like if you have clothes from your kids or stuff that you don't want anymore, especially clothes, I would say, you can sell that stuff on eBay and people will be more than willing to pay for it. And it's easy to ship clothes. It would be easier to ship clothes than it would be if you, like, if you um was trying to ship something that was big and like a piece of glass or something like that. So here's the slider, you guys. It has like onions and cheese and stuff like that on it. It's really good though. Some kind of sauce. I think this excuse me, bacon. 
But yeah. If I was you, one of the easiest things for surgical tests too is to go traveling. If you wanted to go um, make some fast money, well, not fast, but yeah, faster money, you can go travel as a surgical tech and make more money that way, but you may have to leave your family. So if you don't want to leave your family and you want to make more money, for, you, you want to make the most out of where you're at, like if you just want to stay in the area that you're in, you can talk about being a surgical tech, a day in the life, and you can talk about that on YouTube. And if you talk about it on YouTube, eventually you'll start making money off of either the affiliate um, products you're selling or the ads. I would suggest doing both after a while. Hey, Ariel. I'm eating dinner. Mmm. What kind of Chinese food? <laughs> I'm hungry. It's been raining all day. And so, I kind of waited until the last minute to eat. And now I'm like starving. What you eating for Chinese food? You eating some kind of lo mein? I feel like some people... Why you feel like that? Don't say that. Do you have a security system? What you want to talk about? You probably could get one. Yeah, tonight I'm talking about how to make more money as a surgical tech. I forgot I had on lipstick and I've been in here eating. I think you just got to start doing either one. You just need to start as a regular surgical set first. Do you think? You just have to start as a regular surgical set first and then you can pick. Because you might not like either one of those. You might not want to be a plastic surgical set or a narrow surgical set. It might not suit you. Maybe you get, maybe you end up liking labor and delivery. Or maybe you like something else. <laughs> you don't have to go to work today? You don't have to go to work today? I thought about going live earlier, but it was raining so bad here that I thought it would have messed up the signal. But it's not raining now, so I'm a, I'm a little bit sleepy right now too. I think it's the weather though. See, I'm eating these egg, these Southwest egg rolls. By who? That's crazy. You know who it is? You know who it is talking your area? Mm. No. You should get a dog. I'm about to go get some more dogs. Well, I'm thinking about it. My hair's shaking up. Mm. 
I'm sorry you're feeling like that. You should get you some sage and ask for protection. Hopefully it's not anything bad. Okay, so I'm done eating now, for now. I'm sorry to those who are watching the replay, if you ain't want to watch me eating, but I was kind of hungry. Mm -hmm. I think you can become whatever you want to be in life. I don't know about those jobs or area to tell you. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about med tech jobs. So I can't answer that for you. I met one. I think I met a traveling one. I think he was a med. I don't know if he was traveling, but I know he was a med a med tech. But I don't really know too much about them. Excuse me. But yeah. So, is it good? <laughs> My food was good too. I, um, I feel better now, but I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I wanted to just talk about... So even for you, Ariel, if you wanted to start making some, some more extra money, at, but without having to go back to school, I think the, easy, the first thing I would start doing is selling like clothes that I had at home. Especially if we got like kids and I know a lot of people don't want to go tra Well, some people don't want to travel as a surgical tech or, you know, they might find they're nervous. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if you feel like it, I would get some cameras and maybe not put them where they could see them. Get a dog. I don't know <laughs> what to tell you. Especially if it's not somebody you can see. If you can't see them, if you can't see them, then I don't really know what to say because you can't see them. But hopefully nobody's stopping you. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Um, but yeah, so I want you guys to like start thinking about if you want to sell like sell your clothes on eBay. If you got not maybe your clothes, if you got kids, um, and then two, just maybe starting to like sell your ideas if it's an ebook or if it's a um pdf or you could do a youtube channel that's the easiest i would think it, it would be easy to do youtube full time even in work because you only need to post you don't really need a whole bunch of editing software like people be trying to make it seem um i mean diagnostic medical scenario i don't know about that area at all. I really couldn't tell you um, anything about that. But I can tell you, you can start making money without going back to school to be a stenographer or anything. You don't have to go, because if you're choosing those type of, uh, you're not bothering me. I'm just trying to help you like think of a different way to make money other than going to school, because you can make money wherever you're at right now in your life. It just would be a matter of like trying to figure out what kind of hobbies you have that you could start selling or you could start teaching other people or you could just start making stuff. If you can make like earrings, some people can make lip glosses. Um, I know Stephanie DIY that's on that be on my channel sometimes. She makes those. Um, I think she made lip glosses on her channel. Stephanie DIY queen. Um, you could start doing all kinds of stuff at home and you don't have to necessarily go to school for a different profession or like completely learn something new i wouldn't at this point in my life want to have to go learn something new i would just be more open to teaching other people what i know and maybe they can um ben it can benefit them and their lives also like for surgical techs a lot of us don't have the time to be going to another life i wouldn't have multiple jobs where I'm working over like 40 hours a week. And really, I would try to work less than that. And so instead of getting another PRN job or something like that, 
find something that you can do from home, like selling on eBay or selling on Etsy. I will be careful with Etsy uh, because they charge a lot for you to post to sell on their platform. But eBay, you're going to have to pay after you sell the product and then you can sell. Um, and then you have to pay PayPal a portion because they process the payments. And so once you go through, um, if you go through eBay, I think it'd be better than like Etsy because Etsy charges you like a certain percentage of the overall sale, like 20% or something like that versus eBay, they don't do that. And so I like eBay. I do think it's easy to sell on eBay. Even if you go to Goodwill and like start buying name brand things in Goodwill or going to Walmart and buy stuff on clearance. Like these are all the things that I already did. So I'm telling you, like you can make money doing it. And if it can fit in one of those, it fit or it ships, I think it's a priority mailbox or I mean a priority box or priority envelopes. And you can get those free from the post office. You can order them or you can go into your local post office and get them. But I ordered mine online and I ordered them. They came straight to the house in the box. And I would just put the stuff in those envelopes, those like padded envelopes. And then I didn't have to buy like envelopes because they came from the, the post office. And then two, it had a flat rate. So if it fit in the envelopes, I know it was like around $5 and then I would do free shipping, but I would include the shipping and the price of the product. And so if I wanted to make $10 off a product that I got from Goodwill for $5, then I would sell it for like $20 or $25. It, but I would also know before I bought it approximately how much I could sell it for because eBay has this like, you can go do company listings and sold items you can filter that for a product and or item and then you can see how much it sold for or how much it was listed for and then you can list it for that or something close to it and when people go to search it you know they'll find your product hopefully and purchase it from you but ebay was the easiest thing that i did and i started doing that because my grandmother i had a lot of her clothes here from where she had passed and she used to sell stuff at the flea market so i just kind of started doing it on ebay instead of doing it at the flea market and i would make like twenty dollars here thirty dollars there it wouldn't be like i was making like hundred dollars a day but it was still bringing in like three and four hundred dollars a month and that was like easy and that was without me really even trying and so when i did start trying it would be like five or six hundred dollars and then i stopped doing it um because i had left i was leaving and it was harder that it's hard for you to get other people to do stuff unless you're paying them and so i just really stopped selling stuff on ebay but now i have a ton of stuff in there that has to get posted on ebay and i'm gonna post it and i'm gonna sell it and i'm gonna just put the money up and so that's an easy way for surgical tests to make money without going back to school and having to learn something different also because you have a skill like because you're a surgical tech you may find things that are more valuable and other people might not realize they're valuable. So for me, like it happened when I was a cosmetologist, I went to Goodwill and I bought a couple of chairs, salon chairs, and I knew that the salon chairs were valuable, more valuable than what they were selling them for at Goodwill. And so I used that knowledge to buy the salon chairs. I bought all of them and I, I kept two and the other ones I sold for over $50 a piece, which I only paid like $20, I think for them. And then I brought them home and stuff. And so, yeah, I basically doubled my money immediately off of salon chairs. And the only reason I knew about it because I was in that beauty industry. And so it's the same thing with being a cosmetologist. I mean, with being a surgical tech, you go, you may find some scrubs that have, even though we don't buy scrubs, but you still would know like a name brand scrub or you know that you can sell scrubs because people buy scrubs a lot. And, um, if it's not scrubs, maybe it's a particular brand that, you know, you might not, you might know about because your granddaddy used to wear it or something like that. And so you go into Goodwill and you're like, oh, you know, I, I found out, uh, I knew about this because you had that experience and that exposure from your grandparents or your parents or whoever, whatever experience in life. And so you use that stuff, you use those experiences to your advantage. And I would definitely use um, Goodwill and eBay or Walmart, the dollar store, 
even a Dollar Tree, like if you are a crafty person, you people always going to like wall or to the Dollar Tree and crafting up something and reselling it. It's a whole like community online on YouTube that do that, that does that. And so if you're a crafty person, you can go to the Dollar Tree and your supplies is three dollars, but you end up charging you spend like twenty five or thirty dollars or you price it for twenty five or thirty dollars. And so you made all that profit, even though you put your time into it, but once you get faster at something, then it doesn't require you to spend as much time on it. So you start, your time becomes a little more valuable and you get faster. So somebody brought this to my attention a long time ago. It was like the example of a, um, a pop a lot person. Like you still have to pay pop a lot a hundred dollars. It don't matter how fast or how slow it takes them to open the door. So the idea would be to do it as fast as possible so they can get paid and go on to the next job. And it don't take as long. And so it's the same thing with your skill set and your time. But another thing I would think about doing if I was a surgical tech and I wanted to make more money would be is finding skills that I could use at home or investing um, at home, like doing different type of investment prop, um, different type of investment um, opportunities. I think it's what I want to say. But if you take your money and put it into like Robinhood, that would be easy to do. And that would, but it does take more money to make money in this area. So if you're trying to see like hundreds of dollars monthly, you're going to have to be investing thousands of dollars. And that is maybe not, you know, what you want to do, but it's still a way for you to make money without having to go um, to another actual facility or anything like that. You could just be at home trading on Robinhood. You could automatically trade a certain amount of money every month from your paycheck. It could just go straight to Robinhood or any other brokerage account. I would just use Robinhood because the interface is easy. It's easy to use. And then <clears throat> it's easy to withdraw your money if you wanted to. So it's not all complicated and everything like that. And then if you could also invest in um, a business. If like if you don't have to do a business, but it would just be a business eventually. But it would just be maybe you turning a hustle, like what I was saying earlier, into an actual business where it's a home business, and now you get in certain tax write offs and things like that. And that's another way to actually earn money or save money. So it's it, you can look at it as maybe you saving money, but any money that's not spent on something thing what is not a, a penny saved is a penny earned or something like that i guess is how it's said and so that's what i'm trying to say as far as that go but it's easy to invest in the stock market because you can do it from anywhere um and then too with the um like if you do find if you do try to find any other skill sets that you don't have to go like i wouldn't go to school to be a nurse right now as a surgical tech, and I know a lot of surgical techs, when they get to a certain point in their career, they want to go back to school. I wouldn't go back to school. I would start a hustle hobby. <laughs> I would start hustling on the side. I wouldn't do a, a. I wouldn't go back to school to be a nurse right now. I would just start a whole business around my garden or around. Um, animal hus husbandry i would just start a, a hustle maybe not a whole business at first maybe you don't go out and get an llc until you start making money on the business you know what i'm saying so you can either learn digital skills i think digital skills is what you definitely should be spending some time on N not necessarily going and spending you know another 10 or twenty thousand dollars on nursing school take two thousand and learn a digital skill a digital tool maybe learn email marketing maybe learn um seo maybe learn you know something where you can actually translate that skill into something for yourself not so much where you got to go and use that skill set to work for somebody else so if you go become if i was to go become a nurse in order for me to actually make money as a nurse i would have to actually go work at these hospitals as a nurse but i wouldn't even do that if i was a nurse like if i went if i actually went to school i would just really turn my whole nursing journey into an experience and start selling products and tools and things to other nurses or other people to help them in their journey um, of becoming a nurse but the whole point of me saying that is i don't think going back to school is 
the only option for surgical tests. You can do so many other things. You can actually start a staffing agency if you want to. You can start recruiting other surgical tests. You can start a transcription agency or where you transcribe in doctor's notes because we understand the language. And so you can actually do that and people get paid for medical transcription. Um, it's just a lot of different place, different ways that you can make money. But my thing is, if you was to look at it from how you can make the most money, not the most money, the fastest, but if I went to nursing school, it's going to take me a year to two to three years to start making money as a nurse, depending on how long school go and all that stuff. And then I'll be able to start making about $60,000 to $75,000 a year, right? So can I make $75,000 faster in three years? Yeah, I can. I could sell you some lip. I could be selling lip gloss to make $75,000 a year, you know, or lipstick. or and You can make money selling anything. I could sell you know, whatever I want to light bulbs and make that amount of money and be happier than me going to school where um to get a profession that I would have to go work for somebody else to get the most out of it. Because even if I wanted to, even if you went to school to be a nurse, you really, unless you're just going to be like an instructor or something, still need skills to teach other nurses. Like, And even with instructors, you still have to have a certain amount of experience. So I would have to go physically be somewhere for a certain amount like that's just not that's not um for me so i would say if you're like my age i'm 37 and you done been in the game for a while are you trying to figure out like what's the next move is the next move going to nursing school the next move not necessarily going to nursing school the next move can be something as simple as you starting your own woodworking business or you you know, starting your own sewing online class or something like that. Like, do something that you like to do and turn that into a hustle before you go back to nursing school just because you want to make more money. Now, if you want to be a nurse, then go be a nurse. I'm not saying to not be a nurse or to not go back to school for something like business administration because that's something else we go back to school for. If you don't want to do any of that, if that's not, it's not appealing to me to do business administration. Like, why do I want to sit in the office? Why? I would rather go play in my garden and drink some wine or something and plant some vegetables. Like, I would rather enjoy, that's more enjoyable to me than me going and working for somebody else. Now, if it's you and you enjoy, you know, that hospital atmosphere and that type of politicking and stuff like that, and that might be, you know, maybe hospital administration is a good move for you or maybe going to school to be a nurse is a good move for you but for those of you that are only deciding to go to nursing school to make more money i would say instead of doing that maybe start selling the candles that you like to make on the side <laughs> you know maybe take a year and continue working as a surgical tech or continue doing whatever job you're doing. But for that year, your part-time job, and even if you're not getting paid, it's for you to build out a business around a hobby that you enjoy, a hobby that brings happiness to you. Because that's going to be more, way more fun than you going to nursing school, trying to figure out how you're going to pay off these student loans, and then you still got to go to work for somebody. Like the long-term game, and going to nursing school just don't make sense to me. The long term game and you the short term game for me would be okay, I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna work for a whole year as a surgical tech, or I'm gonna work for five four or five years as a surgical tech, maybe go traveling after my first or second year, and then I'm gonna work part time in my own business from like three to five years so I can get out of the game at five years and not have to continue being a surgical set now it's up to you too it's other ways that you can invest your money too like if you did an annuity an annuity is also a place for you to actually grow your um wealth but that's a long time game that's over five that's over 10 years so if you're trying to do something now I would say, and you can work as a surgical tech for one to two years, get your experience, go traveling for the rest of your experience. And then in the means, well, from like three, from three to five years, I would travel, but I would, in the, in the process of me traveling, I would be building my, my own hobby hustle, like a hobby hustle that brings happiness. That's what I would be looking at. And then I would um, turn that into my retirement plan. 
I would still maybe have a Roth IRA. Um, I wouldn't do a 401k because I just feel like it, unless you're going to do a 401k with a travel agency, and even then you don't know that you're going to stay with that travel agency for the full amount of time that they're going to require mostly this is what i'm this is how i feel about 401ks i don't in order for you to get a 401k the money that they're going to match you you have to stay at that facility for about five years and then you can take the money with you but if you stay at a place for more than five years they're paying you and your paycheck less than you're worth and so really they not losing no money even if they giving you a match because just for the simple fact that you stand there they're making more money off of you if you stay in a place more than two years they're not giving you a raise that's equivalent to your two-year experience they give you like a quarter or 25 cent or 30 cent raise right okay so if they doing that for you and you getting a 30 cent raise and you've been a surgical tear or you've been you got two years of experience now even if you left that place and went down the street you would get paid as a two-year tech or a three-year tech which is going to be more than a quarter's worth it's going to be more like two or three dollars maybe like two dollars more than what you was making as a um a new surgical tech and so if you did that then now you can't take the money that they've been matching you excuse me, that they've been matching you with. And so I just don't think it's beneficial for you to do a 401k, but you can do a Roth IRA. You can put money into the stock market. You can start building businesses. Like you have to be diversified in your portfolio. So I can't just tell you to do stocks without telling you to do a business, without telling you to start getting into real estate, without telling you and to actually open your broaden your horizon with the fact that maybe going to another country is going to benefit you more than staying in America. But I'm just saying, I'm not saying that you got to stay in America. I'm just saying, think about it. If you can double, triple, quadruple your money just by leaving a country, why wouldn't you? But maybe you can't leave the country right now. Maybe you can't leave for another 10 or 15 years. You know, like we all know you can't move right now because you ain't really prepared for that, right? And so instead of leaving the country, because even just by going to Mexico, your dollar just went six or seven times further. You know what I'm saying? Or going to, you know, country. That's why I'm like, that's why Africa's on the list. Mexico's kind of on the list still, too, because it's close. But I'm just saying, like, just by going to these places, you can I can double my money, quadruple my, quadruple my money, you know, I save on my cost of living. And so can you. And so when you're thinking about wealth building, don't just think about, you know, think broader. So think broader. Why would people leave the States? Because they make more, their money go further outside of the States. So you can think about that. You can think about how you're going to, um, how you can increase, um, you can lower your monthly expenses, but it's going to come to a point where you don't want to keep lowering it because like you don't want to just be eating beans and rice every day. You know what I'm saying? So once you then got down, get your living expenses down and you done figured out, okay, these are the type of things that I want to live with and these are the type of things that I can live without because there's some, like, I like comfort thing or convenience type of things. And so I struggle with, like, eating out and really eating out because I like the convenience of eating out and I don't have to clean up and all that stuff and cooking. So I enjoy those type of luxuries. But I also understand that maybe I don't eat out every night because I'm trying to you know, increase my wealth by investing more into business and my businesses. And in order to do that, maybe I don't eat, spend four or $500 on fast food every month. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just thinking about that kind of stuff. But when you're looking at businesses too, um, I would look at businesses that you can start from anywhere that's like location free. They don't require you to be at a specific place. Um, That's what, um, hi, hi DC, how are you today? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just out here talking. I was just on here really talking to myself, but just sharing with you guys how to make more money as a surgical tech or even really a traveler in general without having to go back to school. I know a lot of um, surgical techs go back to school because they go back to nursing school. They go back to being um, hospital administration and that type of stuff. And I was just saying how I think instead of doing that, maybe turning a hobby into like a hustle, maybe like starting to sell stuff on eBay that you know about, maybe even like 
starting a YouTube channel around some stuff that you have an expert um expert opinion on, something that you know about. And what else? I'm looking at my notes over here, but I was just sharing like some tips and even going out of the country, like maybe having a five to ten year plan on maybe getting a couple of years worth of experience. Look, how can I get around the delayed travel start due to the holidays, the delayed travel start date? What you mean? It's so like you can't. Everything is starting in these in January now. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's about right. Cause you got to think like every everybody was already hiring for this time of year, so they probably not starting yet until the beginning. No, I don't really have no ideas because that like it's just kind of that time of year wait. You just kind of have to wait until they um basically let they don't let everybody go on ba on vacation and they fill these slots already. So now you just it's gonna just be back into January, February. But in the meantime, I mean, are you you on contract now? Unless you got and you can reach out to other other um agencies too because more agency the more agencies that have your profile the more um nope end of friday the more agencies that have your profile the more play you know the more um assignments you have exposure to so have you reached out to more um travel agencies oh too you can do um hold on what is it it's called care rev care rev see uh can i type in the chat let me see i don't know if i can type in the chat um, no, I can't type in the chat, but it's called Care Rev, C A R E R E V, and there's a per diem place. Um, that actually I went and I went online and did my actually my friend sent me a link to them, and she was like, um, not madly, not madly, Care View, so a uh, Care Rev is C A R E R E V, Care Rev. And they, um, they, I went on, I went on, she sent me the link. She was like, even if you're not going to take a contract, just check them out. You might be able to find something in Jacksonville, um, that's per diem. And so it's just like Medley, I think, but they called me back. Um, one of the nurses did and they asked me what was in a, um, a, my, a major tray what would I do? Um, what instruments would I pull for uh, uh, exploratory laparoscopy? Um, and then what? What else did she ask me? She asked me like, oh, what? Um, what would I do um, once we? Once the doctor told me we were gonna go open, like what? Like what adjustments should I <laughs> be prepared for? And so I passed it, but it was kind of I had never been asked that before so i was like whoa this is new but it was still kind of cool because i i um thought about it yeah it was just it was different like nobody i have never had a recruiter but she was a nurse though but i've never had a recruiter um ask me anything about a major tray or procedures or anything like that but i think because they are per diem per day type of situation that they want to know excuse me, that you at least have an idea of what, what you, you know, what you got to do or whatever. And so, yeah, I went on, I put the location that I was in, the um counties that I could work in or something like that. And so I supposed to go on, back on there and put in my, I got to do a skill checklist and something else. Oh, put my um BLS stuff in there. Do you think some travel companies just get us to sign up? They don't have. Yeah, no, uh, I think. Yeah, I think most people probably really. I think people have contracts. I think it's. Um, they may have more um, applicants than contracts. Sometimes I do think that. So I would just have my my profile with a lot of them. And the more experience you get, the more, um, you know, you'll be more valuable later. I mean, but I would start with, I would look into CareView though, a CareRev. I keep wanting to call them CareView, but it's CareRev. 
And I would look into that and to fill in the spots, um, to fill in, you know, until you can get a contract somewhere else. Where are you? Where oh, my laptop is over there. Are you, where did you tell me you was at? Not in Tampa, right? Are you in Tampa? No, I can't remember if you told me you was in Tampa. I know you said you was in South Carolina at one time or in school in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Oh, North Carolina. Okay. Outside of, I signed up with probably seven or they don't even get hospitals to call me, but I would, um, hmm, it could be the experience. I would start with care rev though, because even with them and medley, but I would, I would sign up with even more, um, Private agencies. That's really. Are you signed up with um, Maxim? Did you get to see the link that I had put in um, the chat that one day? Because I did write. Um, it's not like a complete blog post, but I put a link. Oh yeah, I do know. So um, Aya, I think it's what. However you say that, A Y A. I know about the Mad Pro Cross Country, and a few more. So I would look at. Um, I would look at Madison. I do. I, I haven't taken a contract with neither of these people before, but I would do Madison. I would do, um, what's, um, Megan is with Fast App. I think if, if, um, I'm a, let me see if I still got the, I think in one of my, um, hold on, let me get my computer. I'm going to put the link to the, um, to the other one. So you can go ahead and like go over there. You can go to the link and see the ones that I put in the, in the list and you can, um, have a profile with them as well. But I would just have a profile with a whole bunch of people. I know like seven or eight sounds like a lot and it is, um, but I would still just keep, because really it's going to be a numbers game. If you with everybody, then you will be at, like, you will definitely at some point get, you know, what you're looking for. But if you do Maxim, Ares, I feel like Megan is with Fast Staff because they got the, like, best rates that I've been looking at so far. I'm trying to think who else. Focus Staff. Maybe it's Focus Staff. And then, who else would I think about? Um, have you thought about leaving the area? Are you open to leaving the area? Well, I mean... It's good to have a good recruiter, but shoot, if you got to find somebody else, like, you might have to just go somewhere else. If they can't play, if they're not placing you, I mean, if they should be able to place you somewhere. Where do you want, are you, do you just want to stay in North Carolina? Let me see. Um, okay, let me see here. Hold on. Let me see. I can probably put, I can do a zoom. Hang on. Give me a minute. Let me get the um computer up and I can open up a zoom. Um, Let me see how my internet does with this rain. It's been a rainy, cloudy day. It was at night. My TV was acting up earlier, which is I be I be streaming. I be streaming. Hold on, I'm opening up Zoom right now.
Let me open it and then I can put the link to it in the chat. I might have to get my headphones though. Oh, come on. Okay, let's see. Is it? Hold on. All right. Let me go to my channel. Oh, it says I'm live. Okay, that's good. Okay. Hold on, let me get my headphones. Wait a minute. That's crazy. Your channel isn't more popular. It's too many people that have questions you have to answer. <laughs> well, you know what, too? It's partly my fault because I really stopped um, talking about surgical tech because I was just going to change the like my initial thought was to just stop talking about it but what I had to realize was that you know I had already been talking about it for a long time and so it's not fair to change up the channel I, I just really had to check myself and so now I'm just more like okay let me help you guys as much as I possibly can instead of trying to do a whole nother channel um trying to change it into a whole nother channel is what I was trying to do basically. But I can just make another channel about something different. And then this one can just kind of be what it, whatever it is going to be. Cause it do be a lot of people be asking me questions. Hold on. I'm still working on it. Okay. What we got going on? Okay. Let me get my headphones. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so let's see. Um, what is my computer doing? Taking forever. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to sign into Zoom. I swear I am. If I sign in with Facebook. Oh, did that work? I think that just worked. Hold on. Let's close that out and that out and delete that up. Yeah, that did work. Okay, here we go. All right, schedule a meeting. I'm being real slow right now, but hang on. I wasn't prepared to do, for, to do this. What time is it? We gonna start it. It's got at eight. We're going to start it at seven. Okay. 40 minutes. So, okay, we can do 40 minutes. I might have to upgrade it. We're going to do 40 minutes. If I have to redo it again, then I will. We're going to start with 40 minutes. All right, I'm going to start it. I'm going to send you the link. I'm going to put the link in the... um. Hey, Jay, what's going on? <laughs> I'm trying to open up my Zoom. We're going to try to get on here. Let me see. I normally don't pull this headset out unless I'm talking to Braylon teacher. Open the Zoom meeting. Um... 
Do I have it up? Hold on, I'm finna get the link. I'm finna put the link in the description. Okay. Oh, I can hear myself. Hold on. All right, let's launch that. Open up Zoom meetings. Oh, here it goes. Show video. Okay. I think that word is on audio. Unmute. One participant listening. Now, let me see how to share it. Um, where is the link at? Okay, let me close that. And then... Mm -mm. Okay. Now to share this. Oh, here it goes. I got it. Being real special right now. Okay, here it comes, DC. I think you can get in on that too, um, if you want to, Jay. Let me close the time yet. How do I turn the volume on? Let me see. Did y'all see that? If that um did that link work, you guys? I think that link should work. You don't see it? It's in the chat. It didn't show up. Let me see. Um Maybe I have to email it. Hold on. It's there. I'm finna send it again. You still don't see it? I just typed it in the chat again. I might have to email it to you. All right, what's your um you want to you want me to email it to you? I can email it to me. I can email it to you. It's here. I just don't know why it's not letting me show it to you. Uh 
Um, hold on, let me open it back up. I'm going to try to do it this way. Hold on. Let me see if that works. I don't see the ID. I got that whole code for you right there. Do you see that? You don't see that? Oh, there it is. Do you see it? Here, here's the, um, okay, so the code is, or the ID is 718-7381. Oh, I think it's gone here too, 2864. Did you get it? I wonder why it won't let me show you like, cause I put it in the chat, it's in the chat. Um, It's um capital U, lowercase a, lowercase k, seven, four, eight. I wonder why it won't let me. I might have to email that co that out to you the next time. <laughs> he said, "Wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Capital U, lowercase a, lowercase k." Seven four eight. I wonder why I might have to like I could probably I wonder if I can DM you the link. Let me try to DM it to you. Yeah, I don't understand because it's really like it's showing up that I'm sending on my end. It's showing me the link and it's I can see it in the chat. So I think I think you're in my Oh God, I don't know who's who in here. Are you in my in are you in my Instagram? Wait a minute, let me see who that is. Uh I don't know who that is. Okay, we can do that. But I was just looking, I don't know who um I don't know if you're on my Instagram. I thought you were. I thought you were on my Instagram. What's what's your name on here? I mean, I can send it to you now. We could do it tomorrow though. I don't know who I'm looking at on here. I know who that is. Chris. 
No, that's not it. I just put you on Instagram. Oh, that's you. Okay. Got it. Hold on here. I'm going to put the link in there. Let me put the link in here. Sign up and do the skills checklist. Right, and then they can't, and then they'll find you know where to go. They can't even get the people to call me. So, but you've been, you say you've been scrubbing for about what a year, a little over a year now. Uh, been scrubbing for three years, and I've been traveling. Um, this is, I'm, I'll be looking for my third contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's probably just timing. I think it's just timing. But I was still, because I didn't know about um, Care View, uh, Care Rev. I want to call them Care View for some reason, but I didn't know anything about them. But them and Medley, I think, will be, like, good to fill in the, the um, gap. And I have to, um, since I was trying to get something more aged out, and, uh, you know, that's going to happen, so I'm going to be doing it. I've already signed up with them. Yeah, my homegirl, she, she went madly and she from Atlanta, but she in Dallas with them. And she was like, she just go in there and tell them, okay, um, I'm going to be able to work this amount of hours, you know, and then she just go back to Atlanta and then she go back to Dallas. Like she been flying between Atlanta and Dallas, but I think she couldn't find what she was looking for in Dallas. Like I think she was, I mean, in Atlanta, I think she was looking for like a specific um job or like a because i know she do ortho so she probably couldn't get what she was looking for in atlanta and then just took it in dallas is mentally that profitable well i don't really think so i think it just depends on what you're willing to work for so like if they're only giving you like 25 30 dollars in atlanta 35 to 40 might look good somewhere else you know it just kind of depends on what you want to do that plane ticket well <clears throat> I guess Atlanta to Dallas, that ticket ain't that bad. Mm -mm. So I already know that Delta is not that bad. Right. And then right now, you got to think, ain't nobody really flying. Like, it's a, like everybody's talking about it's a pandemic. So you can get money. I mean, you can get a ticket for a little bit of no money right now. But at the same time, she was in Cali. So her, it might have made sense for her at the time to come from go from Cali to um, Dallas if she couldn't get what she was wanting in, in, in Cali. Cause I did hear some of the contract, like the price went up, but you can't really go to California like that right now. Cause of how the um, pandemic kind of played out. I interviewed in New York and they uh, just yesterday for a travel position. And they were like, well, you gotta have two, uh, two negative COVID tests. Mm -hmm. and all this extra stuff that if you want to come over here. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if I would go to, like, I'll probably try not to go to maybe New York and Cali right now. You trying to stay away from the high cost of living areas. Yeah, yeah, because they getting their head knocked off. We went to Boston and I was way, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. They paid well, but I wasn't willing to fork it over for housing up there. So that's what happened when I went to North Cali. I didn't realize that rent was like two thousand or four thousand dollars a month, right? But luckily, when I got there, my um director had kind of put me in communication with the tra this traveling nurse, and the nurse had been looking around before I got there, and she was like, "Look, this lady charging eight hundred, but you it's only a room." And I'm like, "Shoot, all I need is a room. You know, I don't need nothing else." And I and it was like five minutes away from the hospital. So it was like, cool, I can just, I'll just stay here. And that's how I got lucky. But I had every intention of paying almost $2,500 out there. That's how it was in Boston. I couldn't find reasonable housing when I first went there. So I had the company, hey, man, you guys, um, until I can find better, uh, put me in a hotel or whatever. And they were like, that hotel is like 600 a week. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell people to get a get a RV. Even almost even if you got to rent it, it almost might play out better in those high cost of living areas. Now, Cali would have been okay for RVing because the weather kind of permits, you know, like it ain't bad weather in California. And then there's a lot of homeless out there. So they cool with the RV lifestyle and stuff like that. 
Now, Boston, New York, and all of that, they might not be, you know, as RV friendly. And then the weather sucks. So you got to be looking at, okay, I'm in this snow, you know, in the RV. It's, it's not even that. You're going to tell me I'm going to pay $600 a week for a hotel room and my mortgage and I got a big house is only 1400 a month. Yeah. I'm not willing to do that. Yeah. That's how I was when I went there because I was paying 800 for one room. But this house that I'm renting in Florida, the whole house is bigger than the house that we was living in. And I wouldn't even, I, I pay $1,000 a month. I mean, I'm okay with that. But people living out there, when you see the houses, like, it's just like, why? Like, why are you doing this? Stuff. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's just the 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 right. amount of space to the ratio of money. Like, I'm like, why are we spending a half a million dollars on a three bedroom, one bath with no central heat and air? You know, like you can yeah. get a man like a five hundred thousand dollar house in Florida. You living in a mansion on some land, you know. <laughs> so it's just, I just, me personally, it was just overrated. But you can make money out there. So you just can't live out there. You know, I ain't gonna say struggle, but you're gonna have to. No, you struggling. You struggling. <laughs> you struggling. You struggling because even making, even like one of the girls at one of the places I was working at, she decided to stop working in um, like San Francisco. I can't remember the hospital, but it was like in San Francisco, and we was outside of San Francisco at a community um, hospital. And so she stopped commuting, but she was making like $60, $70 an hour. But she needed to get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And it was the amount of money that she ended up saving just by going to the community college. Even though she lost $20, she still saved. And like, I think she was saying that her transit and all of that other stuff, like she had to pay and leave the house at like ridiculous times. But I just, they, they, she had to work. Like, it's not an option because your house is like damn near a million dollars and you got a mortgage on it. So you got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? And so you can't, it's hard for you to make certain decisions. Like, I was like, just, you know, go traveling. Like, screw this. Just put the house up for rent and go travel and let somebody rent this shit out, you know, and then you get your money while you live in on the road. Like, that's what I would do. But, you know, they didn't want to do that. It was a fam it's a family home and all that kind of stuff. And so you got all of that emotional ties to it. But me personally, I'm not paying half a million in California when it's bums everywhere. It's trash everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I live in Florida and I'm like, for half a million dollars, I'm, li I'm sitting on about 12, 13 acres, you know, like a big ass house with pools and shit. Like we're not spending a half a million dollars on a, a little house that's, you know, you can reach out your window and the neighbor is like ratting at his door to you. And then it's a bomb living down the street. That's crazy. Yeah, no, but they making money out there. So it's kind of hard, like they making money, but they have to. Huh? I said, but it's costing them also. So. Yeah, ain't no vacations. Ain't no like, I'm out here like enjoying life, like not, <laughs> I'm like my rent a my rent a thousand dollars, and I'm just I'm out here having a good you know having the best time, but at the same time I'm just looking at them like why are y'all living like like I don't have a half a million dollar house no, but at the same time I'm not stressed I'm not stressed out about how I'm finna pay these bills like I don't want to that's not a life to me that's not fun I know what it's like to not be able to afford to take time off or to call in like I don't like that that was uncomfortable. So I would rather be a little more comfortable in my life than to be. And, and, and it's crazy because when I was up in Boston, a lot of those other techs and nurses and stuff, they were like, yeah, me and my husband or boyfriend or whatever it was, uh, we're looking at our dream home is 750000 blah, blah, blah. And then and you I look at it. House, I showed them my house. I said, well, I got this. It's uh, 260 Yeah. yeah. Right, <laughs> like North Carolina, get get from up here, come down south, <laughs> and and it's like cool. It's warmer down here. It's like I just don't like being cold. I hate being cold. Yeah, and I'm I'm, a, I'm just up here on my third floor now, so um, I have the windows open because I was smoking. But 
um, but otherwise it, I, it wouldn't be cold. I don't, I don't have to have a jacket on. Right, right, right. No, I was, well, I wasn't in North Carolina. I was in South Carolina a little bit and Virginia. Virginia probably is the furthest north I would really go. And even that was still too, a little bit too much for me. Like, like I just wasn't yeah. feeling it. Yeah. Sorry, the lights are off. Oh, you're good. You're good. Um, but yeah, I would just feel, I would definitely go with Med, um, Medley, like you said, though, just to fill in the um the space. Because somebody, gonna, they're going to be looking for people when next year hit. So I would just really just go with somebody. And it's, glad, it's a good thing we got those companies because they really wasn't out before you know where you could just pick up shifts not for surgical tags like you really had to know somebody to be able to pick a shift up and you really even then you had to have credentials with that you know facility so that means you got to get the whole background check and all of that other stuff and so now you got um, Medley and Careview or CareRev that's doing it so you holding your credentials with them and then whenever you just want to pick a shift up you can so it might not be worth it to travel like what my homegirl are doing. But I don't know. She I don't know if she just like her home base is Atlanta and she just like checking in there or what she got going on. But if you can pick up a shift and not have to stay there like as a staffer, I would do that. And I would just kind of play between the, those two companies and like um, these travel agencies out here. And sometimes even the travel agencies might be able to get you, they won't get you shift work, but they might get you close to home. Hey, Kiana, only still on IG Live? I'm on, uh, face, on I mean, not on Instagram, on YouTube. YouTube Live, yeah. Oh, that's, um, I see Paris on here. Is he still on here? He probably not on here no more. Paris, are you still on? Yo, on here. Huh? Is this video going on, um, YouTube live? No, I'm recording it. It won't share. Um, YouTube is on my phone right now, not on my. Um, but, I, but you recording it so you can show it to them. Yep. I see a lot of people that wonder like the surgical tech for crop profitable uh, career field and all this and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. What you think? Yeah, I'm gonna show you what I think. This is what I think. <laughs> Uh-oh, it froze. I don't know if it cut out. Who over here? Y'all over here? Who over there with me? Is that Paris over there? Oh, there you go. Ahead, cut out. Oh, there you go. This one, this one, the laundry room. I mean, right? Right. This one. <clears throat> It's gonna be a, a a movie theater. Uh huh. This one's gonna be in a movie theater. You like me? I be trying to turn every light off and <laughs> be in the dark. Let me put these other lights on. How many kids you got? Zero. Oh, no kids. I know that's right. <laughs> oh, that's nice though. Nice. You just moved in there. Yeah, I, what I, kind of that was a dog I just seen? What kind of dog that is? Oh, look, it's a little pity. Oh man, she looked like my chili. Oh, my sisters would be so mad right now if they seen that picture. I had a pit. She died earlier this year. She was almost fifteen. She would have been fifteen this summer, this winter. Yeah, they like they that's hard. That shit. That sucks. Mm -hmm, it did suck. My son, she was older than my son. My son ended up finding her. He was all sad and shit. That's the what's that? A living room? It's an office. No, the living room is back over here. That's the living room. And then so what the uh, so and then I seen the dining room. Yeah. Then I got the You should put a pool table in the dining room. I was just looking at a pool table today. I don't. I don't. I don't do all that. No pool. I don't know how to play pool either, but I thought it was a nice looking pool table. Right. No, I, I just, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, I don't know if they can see it because it's dark out here. And right. Crazy. But I, it's what, what that was, a four bedroom, two bath, two and a half bath? Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, 
It's four bedroom plus an extra. The extra a bonus room. room. Yeah. Let's see. Like I got a gated community with a security guard shack in the front. <laughs> like all these houses are big as fuck. It's just dark right now. That's why I had first told you that we should do it. Do it tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. So it's light so that they can see. But bro, it's, it, it's very profitable. You know what I'm saying. So what? You, so what you was doing before this? I was um I was in the army before I went to. I was in the army and then I was uh, working as a contractor in Iraq before I did this. Mm-hmm. My homeboy did that for a couple of years. He was in the army too. He, I, my brother was in the army too. Is my camera all black? You can't no, I can see your face. I can see the house a little bit. I see the garage. I see your neighbor's houses. Yeah. So, so like. So you think this is better than better than contract than um overseas after you got you know how like you can go over overseas for a year and then all of that money tax free well at least six months of it's tax free right yeah yeah but see the thing is all of it and and everybody will say that's good money going to do that you know right but I make the same or more as a travel tax right that's what and when he was doing that. I was like, I don't need to go overseas. Cause now there was a couple of overseas um people that had surgical te- tra- like overseas travel where you can go to Iraq, Afghanistan, and um But you don't have to because it's good money in the States where you ain't got to be worried about, you know, shit blowing up. <laughs> I wish it was daytime so you you guys could I could show everyone like how it is. It's good that it's night because you don't want weirdos. <laughs> like if you if you get in my neighborhood, if you get past the security guard shack, then you need to be back here, right? If you get past the security gate, if you get past my the houses, the uh, the cameras on my house, right? <laughs> if you get past my ring doorbell and the and dog, the door, right? And the pit bull, <laughs> I deserve whatever. Whatever right? finna happen, right? <laughs> but but the um, surgical tech, it it made this possible, you know. Yeah, and you're traveling with it, so it's like you get you ain't got to be stuck at one spot with the politic the politics of that hospital and the staff. You get your money, get out. For me to go. Right, it's time. By the time they get on your nerves, you out of there. <laughs> That's true, though. That people, especially like some of the people I, that I see on your page, like they question all type of stuff, and I'm like. But you know, people just be scared to take a chance too. They don't really know, like you just got to hop out here on on your own skill set and see whatever happens. It don't you so don't so don't <laughs> so don't. You sitting there talking about it, watching YouTube and getting your pay. No well, no well, cause really, when I first started scrubbing, I think it was like not even scrubbing. When I first started traveling, I think it's one other girl on here. I can't remember what her name is, but it was it was a black girl. She was in Hawaii at the time. Her video still up. I can't remember what her name is, but she going back to nursing school. Um, that's what her last couple of her last video. She said she going back to nursing school. But I remember watching her video, and I remember thinking, shit, if she could do it, I'm gonna get out here and do it too. And now and that was the end of it. And I was just like, okay. The only thing I had to figure out because I got a kid was what to do with the kid. Like, what do you do with this child? So. Luckily, though, his dad, you know, is involved. So he was just like, shoot, you know, bring him here. I'll watch him. My mom was the same way, but it just felt right to send him to his dad. My mom would have kept him. But his dad was like, you know, at first he wasn't really on board with it. But later I was like, look, dude, if I can go to work for six months, you can keep the child support the whole time I'm gone. Just let me go get the money and we'll be good to go. And so he came around and then I just I drove from Jacksonville the one that I took in California, I had to drive from here all the way to Austin. And then I dropped my son off at Austin and I drove from Austin to San Francisco. And I was just like, if I can pay off everything, my goal was to make sure when I left there, I ain't had no debt. I could do whatever the hell I wanted to. I had already paid off everything, but the car, the car I hadn't paid off yet. And so I paid the car off uh, like two weeks after getting there because everything else had been paid. Like my home shit was already paid off. Even the rent, I had paid it for like a week or like an extra month or something like that. And so 
everything end up I end up getting some money from the VA. Like everything like end up falling in place right for me to just get out there. And I was like, okay, now I'm out here. I'm just gonna stack my money. And then we went to some a couple of strikes. It everything ended up like working this stuff out. There's so much opportunity. Yeah, the strikes shit. People don't know about them strikes. Now the thing with strikes though, you got to really be yeah, that's yeah, right. But I didn't know about it. And it just so happened my recruiter had put me on. And then my other homegirl, she a nurse, but she an ER nurse. And she had some ER friends that had been going on strikes. And she was like, yeah, you should go. You should go. And I was like, man, I can't go out to no strike. I don't know what, you know, they going to drop me in the middle of some shit. I don't know. You know, hey, Stephanie, I missed your live again last night. But I did watch one of your videos today, Stephanie. I watched the one where y'all was cooking the tacos, the vegan tacos, but I, I need meat though. I'd be hungry. Um, but yeah, so I went and um and don't worry about me having no, not having no furniture back here. Oh shit. On COVID. It's on COVID delay. No, I wouldn't look, I don't be worried about that shit. Look, it's more important that you got the house than having shit in the house. I paid for it in October and it's delayed till January for the delivery. The furniture? Yeah, because of COVID. It tasted just like me. Oh no, uh, uh, I um, it's somebody else I was watching on here, and they said that they had ordered some. Who was? It? Oh, it was the girl. Um, you probably don't watch her, but it's it was another girl on here that I be watching. That what's her name? The cold TV. She real kind of goofy. You don't you probably done seen something of hers on TV, but she was talking about some stuff she had ordered. But I just be looking at the fact, like with the house. I don't be paying attention to people's furniture in there. I be looking at the fact that you got a house and it's your own, it's yours. I got three floors. I ain't worried about nothing. And then, so what you just don't, you gonna have that house there and then just go wherever you need to go at, huh? Yeah. So would you go, what, what, what kind of school? You went to school, you went through like a whole, like what, 18 month, pro, how long your program was? We were associates, yeah. So it was 24, 24 months? Yeah, it was the craftiest school ever. Yeah, but all you needed was the you. Don't, it don't matter what what the school, as long as you got your um. Listen to me though, you know how the attitude would be in the OR. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. To the classroom. That just be misery you know, though. Petty games and stuff like that. I got a few of them fired. Yeah, they be just miserable. A lot of times, people just be miserable in their life, and when they miserable in their real life. It's showing, like, it transfers over into as an employee. But the thing, too, sometimes you got to look at, like, if they surgical tests and they teachers, like, they might not have been good in the OR. Yeah, they might have. And, and now they stuck being a teacher. Then, and then it, it was mostly the ones that were hard to look at. So... <laughs> Made their attitude a even worse, yeah. They because they be it be some like other stuff, like they be they they home life be bad, you know what I'm saying, or miserable, I should say. So, I'd have met plenty of people like that. And then, you know, you come in, you got a bubbly, you good because you making money, they don't know you making money, but you making an like okay, I'm a traveler, so I'm making travel pay, but you don't realize I just six, you know, six x my money by doing this other thing over here. And so I'm feeling real good today. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming there because I got money in the bank and you mad because, you, you know, some sh other shit done happened and now you ain't got no money in the bank. She calls every week. What'd she say? Oh, she gone. What'd you say? Say that again. I said, um, most of them, they, they live check to check. I mean, paycheck to paycheck. You get paid every week. They yeah, people live in paycheck to paycheck and then ain't got a thousand dollars in the bank, you know. So when you gotta understand, like when people be really struggling, like they really don't have they don't know how to be happy. I done been struggling before, so I can tell you I don't know what it's I know what it's like to be unhappy with life. Man, that dog, you gonna make me go get another damn I said I wasn't gonna go get no more pit bulls. I said I was gonna try a different breed this time. That's the only one. Jay, uh oh, wait a minute, Stephanie. I seen you over there at Gap. What that's oh on her live Gap. Oh, I know who y'all talking about now. I um, I love my pit bull, and I this this dude. I was in South Carolina when I got her, and it was like I went into the middle of the woods. The dude was living in a trailer. 
he was cool as shit though. He was a big ass dude. He had a, some big ass dogs. And I got the I got the most hyper dog out of the bunch. And I was like, I'ma get the one that come to me. And I'd probably never do that again. Cause she was so hyper so long. But she was a really good dog though. But she was kind of spoiled. Yeah. How old is your dog? Um, I'm not totally sure because the, the way that I got him, I rescued him. Mm -hmm. When the hurricane come to North Carolina in 2018, Hurricane Florence, mm -hmm. his family left him out there in the storm. Oh, you got him. And somebody, no, somebody rescued him from that storm. And then that's how I ended up adopting him. Oh, at least you, you know, most people scared of pit bulls. Most people scared of them. I went through so much when I had my dog, like, they was putting me out of apartment. It was bad. I had a bad couple years with her. And then my mom. My, uh, I, had that happen too. I had a police officer pull a gun on a, my, one of my old pit bulls I used to have. The police. Yeah, no, my po the police over here not caught. They not. Yeah, I, got, I got kicked out of an apartment complex and. And uh, the police had pulled his gun, his gun on. Yeah, that's crazy. Now my um, they ain't put a gun on my dog, but they um, the my neighbors did used to call the cops on. They used to call the the animal cops and came to my house a couple of times. The police came once, but the police that came was so cool. Like he was just like they had got out the fence. I just didn't know they was out. And um, the neighbors called so one of my I know who it is called the police. And then the cop was just like, put him up or whatever. But the animal cop was the cool, well, one of them was cool. It was a cool dude, but the chick, she had like, she had a problem, but it was fine. She wanted to give me some, what do I, I have no rabies shots for like the dogs or whatever. Cause I just keep them hard. Just like, I, I ain't finna give them no immunizations just, just because if they ain't like, if they got bit by or something like that, then I would have took them to the, um. That, but just to be getting them like immunization, I ain't doing that. And so she, the chick wanted to give me fines for it, but the dude was cool with it. He was like, just you know, if you if they bite somebody, you gonna be in some trouble. That's basically what he was saying. Yeah. But she was just on, you know how people like. I told my mom, I was like, oh, she like her position of power. Like she felt good about being in that like position i was just like oh yeah if you come back and i don't have i'll pay the fine like because i ain't tripping off the fine but it's just the point like that's 25 dollars ain't finna hurt me lady like i'll pay that yeah but no i might i was thinking about i hadn't got another dog man thinking about getting another dog yeah yeah i want to get two though i gotta get two Ooh, miss entrepreneur you could be Whatever the hell, dog, you want yeah, to. I could. I just don't want to be stuck home with them, though. That'd be the problem, though. Like, cause if, I, like, even right now, I want to go see my auntie for Christmas, but I got all these damn chickens, and like the turtle, and my mom just like, I got to come over here every day. Yeah, I got eight chickens. <laughs> huh? We need to cook one of them. Nah, we can't cook them. Them pets. I got a specific breed. Now, the two oldest ones, they mean, because they they are a different kind of breed. But the other ones, no, nah, we can't cook them yet. We can't. My son going to lose his mind if he come. Well, he actually, he don't like the chickens because they pecked him. One of them got his little legs, and he wasn't feeling that too much after they, after they pecked him. Got to teach him to grab him by the neck and yank him. Nah, that's what I told him. I was like, we grew up with chickens and stuff. In the neighborhood, I remember watching this man gut a goat and was like, yeah, I did. And it was like dogs around and like eating up the um, guts and stuff. Like I grew up, we grew up watching that. My son would never know that lifestyle unless like I started gutting goats, but I don't think I did. But now I need to move. I was thinking about getting some more land, but I kind of want to go travel next year. So I'm just kind of like up in the air trying to figure out what to play, travel out the country. Oh, Out the country. For work or for pleasure? Mm, both. <laughs> the country for work. Just I can just go travel. Um, shoot, I can just record what I'm doing and make money off of that. Oh, well, I'm talking about. Oh, you talking about working as a surgical tech? I ain't a boss like that. Oh, you talking about as a surgical tech? But you can be a boss. It ain't bossing. It's just like okay, I don't want to work for nobody else, so I got to make. I got to figure out how to make it. 
job of search tech. I know, I know those things exist. Yeah, they do. Now I wouldn't know where to go with though, because you got to think like, if you go to certain countries, even though you get that American education, you like you might not get the pay ain't gonna translate because we making money over here. Like other countries ain't making. Tax free. I need one fifty. To travel out of the country, like you ain't gonna make the same amount of money though. That's the thing. Like if you go somewhere else, it would have to be more on like a, a um humanitarian type thing, and then try to figure out a different way to make money off of it. I ain't working for two. No, I know that's what I'm saying. Like I would travel outside. I would, okay. Let's just say if I travel, if I did go to work at a facility. I would be working to get the content and the sell the content versus like they wouldn't be paying me enough. They wouldn't be able to pay you enough. And in, in these in certain countries. Now, if you go to like maybe more like a European kind of country, you might get closer to what we make here. But like I'm thinking like third world, like Africa, Haiti, Mexico. I'm looking, I'm looking into working with uh like say such as a company as like Storks. What is it? Storz, S-T-O-R-Z, they, they, they do the, the endoscopic. Yeah, the, two, the, the, um, stoves. Yeah. But they, but as a, what, as like a medical sales rep, that's what you mean? Yeah, or like even someone that comes to service the equipment. I know, I, I remember this dude used to come in and he would, um, sharpen our tools. I thought that was kind of cool. Like, he did it on his own time. But if they make, I don't, I don't know. However it goes, I'm looking for the next step up. What's what's going to get me paid more than what where I'm at? Where you at right now? As a travel tech. And what's the next step? Teaching ain't it? No, teaching. If you teach, you can teach because they making they making almost fifty thousand dollars teaching. So it ain't bad money. It's gonna take all the time, all the time. Yeah, and you yeah, it's gonna take it's you're right, it's gonna take all your time up. But I would think of something like what you like to do though. You know me, I'm gonna tell you to turn your hobby into something. Yeah. I'm more I'm the I'm the travel tech that says, Hey, I want three twelves and no call. You know what though? Three twelves ain't bad. Three twelves kick my butt though. I ain't gonna lie, three twelves be hard on me. I would go I would if I, the easiest thing for a travel surgical tech to do is to put the money into maybe like a stock account. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on the rest of it. But, but hey, I, I got to go, so. Yeah, no, that's what's up. I got us recorded, so I'm going to try to edit the video. Yeah. And then I'll, um, I'll hit you up on Instagram and let you know when it's live. And um, also, if you want to get back during the daytime. So they can see the outside? Yeah, no, they question. They want to question, like, if going to school for it is worth it. I sure, I sure so, so it's worth it to get. So, and I know you said you ain't even like your school like that, right? Like it wasn't even the best school. My school was out, is out, was out of business. Like the class after me, they lost their accreditation. The cl very next class after me lost their accreditation. So they didn't get the degree. I don't know what they got, but the degrees and or, or and or the certification and then like the ones after that, like the school just closed down and the, even the students in the program, they just told them, oh, well, basically. Right. That happened. I know that happened at one of the um, colleges down here. They lost their accreditation. And then it was like the people that was in the program just got kind of screwed over at the end, at the end of it. But I would, um, so you think, wait, did you, I, and I ain't getting any money, but like, so what, did you have to get student loans? Yeah, I did. So you think we're getting a student loan, um, it's still worth it? Absolutely. Because I got everything I need. And you was you think you able you will be able to pay off the student loan debt in a decent amount of time where it won't affect you so much with the interest? That's just like a claim. Right. I just put it to you this way. <clears throat> As a travel tech, um, the amount of money I make, I can pay every bill I have. And only use up half of what I made. what you made, right? This house, right? Everything else. That's true, though. Only using half. That means really not even half. I think at one point I was like on like thirty percent and still like comfortable. Comfortable. And that, and then too, when I tell people like that, you can live off thirty percent. I don't think they really understand like 
what that means. So if you can live out 30%, that means 70% of what you're making, like, can go over here. Look how my dog is laying right now. Fat. <laughs> Not a damn thing. Hold on. What Paris creation? Paris say, uh, how long did you wait to go travel? I waited a long time. How long you waited to go travel? I didn't go traveling probably five years. Like I probably waited till I was like five or six years in the game. I really, I really didn't want to go traveling. Um, I liked the hospital where I was at. I made a lot of friends, a lot of people and friends there. Mm -hmm. but it make it hard to leave. Yeah, but when I decided to get a house like this, then I'm going to need a bank. Yeah, you got a big boy house, so you need big boy money now. <laughs> exactly. So um, so I, I guess I was about, I had about a year and a half, almost two years. Experience. Worth the experience, two years worth the experience. And you felt like that was good? That was, um, you think, or you felt like you should have had more experience? But you get experience out here, though, right? Uh, even though you might be scared a little bit, you still going to learn. I get, I get more experience. Um, as long as you're comfortable with the basics, you can start traveling. Right. And, and um, I just make sure and screen the companies that I interview with for travel jobs so that I interview them like they interview me, you know? Right, to make sure it's a good fit. They're friendly. They're not gonna if I'm if I'm comfortable with general and GYN and urology and you know those type of things, minor ortho. Like I, if I go to your facility, that you're not gonna stick me into neuro and cranies and all things. Right, you know, right, I'm right. And I done already told you, I this ain't where I'm comfortable at. Don't put me in it. But you know what? I'll tell them that quick in a heartbeat. Like I done already told you that this is where I'm at. So if you want me to hit the ground running. You don't want to put me in some stuff that I don't really know how to like move, maneuver. I don't know these instruments. The doc's gonna be mad at me. And and then people they they will throw you out there. In, They're gonna throw you under the bus to make their stuff look good. And and at the end of the day, those facilities are not what we call travel, travel friendly. friendly. They're not travel friendly, right? That happened to me on my very first contract. You know what I think would be good, and I don't know if they do this in other like groups or nothing like that. It should be like a list of places so text, you know, can like okay, if I go here, you know, I might be exposed to them like just throwing me under the bus or putting me in stuff just because they text don't want to do it because that happens to us a lot. And I know, that's, it, huh? That's what they do. If if their texts don't want to do it. They're going to put us in there. Yeah, and they're going to expect you to know it, even if you done told them, I don't do this. Yeah. But it should be. I don't know if they, because I'm not really active on, like, um, Facebook or Instagram, really. I'm probably way more active on, on YouTube. But I know um, I am a part, huh? Said me too. Yeah, I am a part of a group on Facebook, though. And every now and then, I'll pop in to see what they're talking about. And they're, um, it's called the surgical tech. What is it? The life of a surgical tech or something like that. Now, nah, but I don't think nobody really putting out there like places that they shouldn't visit or like that aren't travel or friendly. Yeah. Like it's cool. The money good, but you're going to be down there about to strangle somebody in there. Like that ain't good for your, that ain't good for your mental health. <laughs> no, it's not for the week. It's not. Yeah, but I'm gonna let you go though, cause I know you said you was gonna go. I don't want to hold you up, but I do. We can hop back on. Um, I was actually gonna try to have all of these kinks worked out by Friday, cause I have another platform that I was gonna try to use, but I might just stick with um Zoom, cause it's easier, and I think I'll have to send the invite through a a message way, cause I was sending it in the chat, but it wasn't coming through. I put it in there like three times nothing that you typed in there i don't know what's i don't know how to work it because i don't have a youtube channel but yeah i'm still i'm still playing with some of the um softwares to try to get them to work with each other and stuff like that that's on some back end stuff but anyways i'm gonna let you go but i appreciate it and i'm gonna try to edit this video i'm gonna let you know when this one uh we gonna hop back on i might actually wait until we do the other one and put them together so it'll be easier um, for people to get a, a perspective of where you coming from and like, you know, how you feel about the career. Because you knew in the game, too. I'm, I'm old. Like, I'm out of the game. <laughs> I'm old and out right now. 
But I appreciate you taking the time and um, shit. If it's something you want to know, let me ask me. When when I first when I first started watching your channel, I was one of those people that 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 I see on there now. Um, that don't be asking questions and just new in the game. And, and and I was on I was searching. It was you and it was a like. I want to say two, at least two other ones that I was watching. I know Surgical Tech Tips. He got a lot of videos out. Like the one, the one guy that's in Vegas. Yeah, Surgical Tech Tips. The white, he a first assistant, the white guy. Yeah, I used to watch his videos too. He was like the first one. Him and then that girl. It was a black girl that was in Hawaii on her video. I remember reaching out to her to do a um collab, and she ain't never get back. <laughs> she ain't never get back with me, but. I um I watched a lot of his videos and that's when I was like I'ma just start giving people people my perspective of like what they need to know about being surgical tests and stuff like that. Like how do should you be traveling? Should you not be traveling? Does the is it good money? And I'ma tell you like surgical I know I was making more money than my friends. Like I know I was. I mean it it just was very obvious. It's the the type of personality like the things people say you know the language people use you can tell where they're coming from even even the lowest fan contract um paid me twice as much as i was making as a regular money. surgical tech yep and twice as me. easy I'm easy not. easy and i that's what but you it's scary though it is scary it is scary well being from the military and things like that i'm used to traveling <laughs> it made it easier it made it easier it did and that's what i used to tell people i was like this don't seem different to me because i was already doing this in the middle like i went into the navy at 18 and my parents was military so like my life has been set up to where you somewhere for two years and it's time to go made it much easier yeah it, it made it made more sense to me to go somewhere and i know the politics of being in the hospital like i don't really i like people but like if you're gonna play certain games with me like i don't really want to play games with you politics, it's politics and it's i'm gonna tell you it was even politics from okay how my military career was when i went into the navy let's let's talk about this in next okay time. okay 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 i'm gonna let you go look i do got four people on here so i'm gonna holler at you too but i'm gonna holler at you i'm gonna send you the um i guess we can hop back on friday i'm about to go back to watching the youtube channel though Okay, I'm on here. Maybe we can do it Friday though instead of tomorrow. What you you got to work? No, you ain't got to work. You you on mini vacation? <laughs> Appreciate the time off. All right. Okay then. All right, YouTube. I'm back. Hopefully, I can save that. I think I should be able to save that. I had to put y'all on the charger too. So I was just talking to one of you guys. I'll have that interview up soon. Uh-oh. Oh, there it go. <laughs> now it's in face. Hold on. Sorry if that messed with y'all eyeballs. It's okay, you guys. Who's in here with me? Say hi to me. I know Ariel's in here. Hi, Ariel. Sorry I didn't get a chance to speak. I was looking at the, um, I was doing the, I was talking to one of you guys over there on on zoom he actually was patient with me because i wasn't prepared to go um on zoom right now but it was just me and dc in here earlier so we just hopped on a zoom and i recorded it so y'all have that mostly whoever's in here heard most of um the conversation but if you didn't hear it i got the audio i mean i got the footage and he gonna we gonna hop back on maybe tomorrow or friday and complete the um you like his perspective. I think the video, once I once I edited it, I think you will probably really like it. But that was just kind of like us just, me and him, we was just in the room and just hopped over there. I didn't intend on going on Zoom. I actually been trying to use this other software to do the same exact thing that me and him did because I paid for it already. And the Zoom only lets me record uh, 40 minutes of, the meeting or it only lets you do 40 minute meetings or whatever and so that's what was happening and it was kind of good that we kind of had to wrap it up but yeah so if you guys um know or not don't, i don't even remember what this hold on let me see what i oh how to make money as a surgical tech without going to school so i guess that does kind of help um with this video context is you can go traveling that's definitely a way to like he said double your money 
without even having to go back to school. Um, I would say add a add a hustle to it. I would definitely say add a hustle to it. Um, invest into some type of stock market, um, whether it, like an ETF or something like that, is a good way for you to invest or to make more money without going back to school. And yeah, I thought like and two, like he got a house. If you get even a, um if you take the money and do something like a multifamily home like maybe if you go into business with other surgical techs you guys can um rent out the space to travelers and you can stay in the space while you're there that's another option that i think is super cool um one of my uh, my landlord his daughter has a condo i think and she rents out her rooms to traveling nurses and so if you are traveling in a city where there's other travelers, you can either rent the room out or rent your house out if you're not there. That would be something that I would consider doing or go, even going into business with other traveling techs to know that um, you have somewhere to stay in different cities. You don't have to pay the full, um, you know, rent or mortgage or whatever. RVs is definitely something you can get an RV and rent out the RV to travelers. I think that would be something that you could look into writing an ebook selling on ebay and those type of things i don't really know um i think that's all i got do you guys have any questions or want to talk about anything tonight um area dye my hair ultra light sun blonde be careful with bleaching your hair area it'll break it off but yeah you guys that's really all i had i didn't um I, my really, the whole point, I hit myself, the whole point of me going live was to just, because I'm doing it for the whole month of December, we already talked about that, right? But I just wanted to come in and just give you guys some ideas on really how to make more money. And then DC came and gave us his perspective. And so that was super cool, right, you guys? So we appreciate him for that. I did record the whole video, I mean, the whole meeting. So it's actually downloading now to my laptop and then when i finish the interview with him i'll put them together and then i'll put them up with you guys yeah i'm about to go i'm sleepy a little bit you guys look i've been having bags under my eyes where are those bags coming from oh my goodness i'm gonna have to like put some cucumbers do y'all be putting cucumbers and stuff actually i don't use cucumbers i normally use aloe to to combat the um the puffiness i haven't really been sleeping well so I'm going to go ahead and go, you guys. If you have any questions, please send me um, the question on IG. And that's really how I'm going to have to be communicating with you guys because I can. you can email me, but most of you guys are on Instagram. So just go ahead and hit me up on Instagram. I'm Kiafa on Instagram. And if you want to be interviewed, I can definitely interview you on, um, on the channel and get your perspective on things. And so... If you Instagram, if you send me a DM on Instagram, I'll definitely reach out to you. It's a couple of Instagram messages that I haven't got to, so I will get to them um, possibly tomorrow. And if you want to be interviewed, that's where you need to be. Con that's where you need to contact me at, because it's going to be easier for me to put that in the chat over there. I was trying to put the link in the chat on YouTube, but it's not showing up for some odd reason that. Um, the link is there like it's just nothing showing up so in order for you to actually get invited um into the interview session i'll have to have a instagram account so i can send you the link or a it'll be easier for you to have an instagram account than an email address and so that's that's how that's gonna work and yeah so i think that's all i got for you guys i'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning and hopefully i can get on here before 10 o'clock <laughs> and so that's the thing yes ariel how can i help you before i leave because i'm about to go what you want to talk about bro it's 8 30. what that mean it's time to go to bed parents creations you already know it's bad <laughs> don't act like you don't be ready to go to bed early because i do bro it's 8 30. why y'all keep saying that what that mean because it's 8 30 what that mean i don't understand bro it's 8 30 why y'all <laughs> i'm confused do you think i can wear ultra sun black? i think you can i think you got to be careful on bleaching your hair i don't know why y'all both said that that's confused i'm confused because it's not 8 30 it's like 8 40 something bro it's 8 30 
I'm slow right now, guys. I have no clue what that means. Now I'm waiting to see what y'all finna say. Bro, it's 8.30. What does that mean? <laughs> Why do y'all keep saying it? What does that mean? I might as well go become a diagnostic medical stenographer because they specialize in... I mean, yeah, you can do that. Jay, you laughing. I have no clue what that mean, bro. It's 8.30. <laughs> what is y'all talking about? Because it's definitely not 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all got me trying to figure out what's going on. Bro, it's 8.30. I don't get it. I'm like, help me. But um, I'm trying to go. I mean, what's better? <laughs> I'm like, bro, it's 8.30. I seen both of them. I was confused. I just got... Wait a minute. Oh, I mean, what about a butter blonde. I think you got to be careful with blonde in general because it'll break your hair off. I just got done getting out the tub. I had to take a bath. I'm glad you took a bath. We don't want, you know, people to not be out here maintaining um, personal hygiene. That would not be good. But, um, um, I guess, area. I would just be careful, um, you know, with lightening your hair because it will break it off. Any any color lighter than what you already are is gonna remove the color from your hair, so it's it's gonna possibly break it off. So I said I was gonna go, you guys, but I mean, if if um yeah, I am gonna go. <laughs> I am gonna go. Ariel. Oh yeah, that's a good question, Jay. What is your zodiac sign, Ariel? We need to know. Very <laughs> That's funny. I said that because you said you was going to be. I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. I thought that's what you meant. I don't, I mean, shoot. What you... <laughs> okay, parents. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Time to continue the video. No, nah, I'm finna go to bed. I'm sleepy, you guys. I ain't even lying like... My alarm does go off at five o'clock and sometimes I do get out of bed and start moving around, you guys, believe it or not. So 8.30, I'll be trying to hang in there till like nine or 10 o'clock sometimes so I don't wake up in the middle of the night. So 8.30, I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, and Paris, did you put a video out today since you coming from my sleep time? Let me see. Watch it don't be no, no video up. Watch. Wait a minute. Now they're going to make me put the type the whole thing out. DC, don't come to the surgery with that stinky leg. <laughs> That's, um, Aria says she take baths. We condone, we condone personal hygiene. We definitely condone that. I do. I don't know about nobody else. Let me see. Okay, Paris Creation. No, I don't see no video up for today. I'm on your ass. I need a video. So now on when you pop in to my channel, I need, if you ain't putting no video up, you might want to just be, you know, silent because I'm coming for you. Where is the videos? We three days in. I need another video. I don't even care what it's on. I need another video, Paris. Ain't nothing in that. I don't even know why I was trying. All right, y'all. I am going to, I'm finna go for real. What time is it? Okay, so I'ma go. I'ma go get ready for bed. By the time I'm done getting ready, it should be like 9, 15. Since, you know, 8.30 was just too soon. So I should be asleep by 10 o'clock. That should be some good time. And then I'll be up early enough to make another video before 10 o'clock. <laughs> That's the plan. Because I be... It's cold in here right now, you guys. Right? So, my goal is to not turn the um, heater on until it hits 65 degrees in the house. And so, it be cold in here. And I don't be really wanting to get out of the bed. Because I be wrapped up in a blanket. If I'm being honest. 
Nope, I'm still in the bed. Now you still in the bed. What time you what you mean you in the bed? I'm still in the how you in the bed? And you talking about me. You were in the bed. But wait a minute, Paris, you work at night? Don't you work at night? I thought you worked at night. I feel like you worked at night. Maybe not. Maybe that was maybe I'm getting you confused with somebody else. I thought you worked at night though. Or evenings. I can't remember. Yeah, I know, right? It's time for me to go to bed. I'm sleepy for real. Did a twelve yesterday, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> you like damn oh, you like damn, I can't get no time off. <laughs> A 12, yeah, don't touch like no joke, man. Them things hurt. I don't care what nobody say. Like, I, I like 12 hour shifts because you be done, but they I feel everything over like eight hours. I be feeling that. And I like, I don't, I be cranky around like that 10 hour. Like, you, we ain't friends after 10 hours. <laughs> you be like, she need to go home. <laughs> it's time for her to leave. But I'll be your friend if we had some candy. Like, I love candy, you guys. I got it bad. I need to start with the candy. Like, sweets, chocolate. You, that mama that keeps saying goodbye and don't leave. I know. I'm finna. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, I'm going for real. Now, you guys, see how Jade just ran me off? <laughs> I go live in the morning and in the evenings, Paris. So, in the morning, I'm going to try to go live. Okay, I'm going to say this and I'm getting off for real. In the morning, my goal is to be live before 10 a.m. And then I'll be live again between 6.30 and 7. Because I know y'all don't get off or be home or available until around like 7. That's why I kind of been going um, a little bit later. But yeah, that's what time so I'll be going. So I'll be live in the morning and then I'll go live again. I do 11 to 11. Okay, so I'll get up and we'll, we'll go live just for you to get you prepared to go work for 12 hours because <laughs> we won't be on here at 11 at night i'll probably be asleep around 11. <laughs> i'll probably be knocked out so i'ma go because jay already told me i'm the mama that we keep keep saying bye and don't be leaving so i'ma go you guys and then i'll see y'all tomorrow and hopefully i can get Oh, man, I won't be able to get Paris on. Um, maybe I can get one of you guys on this weekend. I know DC said he was going to hop back on with me tomorrow or Friday for tomorrow. Maybe we'll figure out. Maybe Friday. But I want to um, do some more interviews. So maybe I'll figure out how to do it. Okay, good night, Jay. Good night, Paris. Good night, you guys.